So now we're going to play the N64 version. Speaking of great, amazing game companies. Oh, go on. Are we going to get the intro that the other one has? Yeah, I heard about that. The ending of the Wii U and 3DS store. It sucks. I mean, it, it would be fine if they moved it over. Those load times, though. Ooh, crispy. Looking good. It actually has, like, a pretty good, like, polygonal complexity. It's not as more than I'm su or expecting, I guess. Options. We got options? Okay, well, those are options. In-game options. Shadow meter. Oh, yeah. Reverse snipe. Oh, that's for... Oh, okay, yeah, I get it. Resolution. Don't give me that low-res shit. Yeah, high-res. I mean, <laughs> it would be funny to leave this on low-res. <laughs> Yo, low-res. Oh, God, why is it crackling? Hold on. That may legitimately be an issue with my cables. We are on an N64 right now, <laughs> by the way. Okay, I think I was causing interference with the way I had them put together. Uh, we can look at it with both low and high res, honestly. Alright. This game is Rumble Pack compatible. Please insert Rumble Pack now if you wish to play with it. I don't have a Rumble Pack that works anymore, sadly. I have the Pokemon thing that you could put your Pokemon Red or Blue into and play Pokemon Stadium with. The 9th of November, 1888. Make sure to blow in the cartridge. It is in a cartridge. <laughs> Spring this is not an emulator. Now, whether it's a, a cartridge of Shadow Man or a flash cartridge with the ROM loading into a real N64, I won't say, but... <laughs> but yeah, I mean, hey. Now, I know even showing that this is an actual Nintendo brand Nintendo 64 controller doesn't prove anything, but... Uh, because I know they make converters that have you can plug like bereft, controller in. Therefore, perform that bloody ritual upon myself. <laughs> your hand, Jack, yeah, yeah. To what I have to say. How did you find this place? Who are you? Uh, you know, playing some low res is probably the right way to do this. Let's <laughs> so see like the worst way this game can look. Af after we play like about an hour of this, I'm gonna switch over to the uh, the old PC version of this game. My God, it looks pretty good. That you can produce such things from thin air. He just looks even more fucked up, he does. Like yourself. What is it that you want from me? You are an architect by trade, are you not? I am. Then I would have you build a cathedral to pay. Super a strange. Where you and I and others like us may join together. A place of asylum for all of the Now what I should really do is go swap out my video cables really quick, because I have this on SK S video. Should get just the plain RCA cables so it can look even worse. Look at he hair. And we shall harness their power to create an immortal army to punish and cleanse this pathetic world. And where might I build this cathedral of yours? Across the veil. In the darkness, amongst the restless spirits of those who have passed beyond. I don't know why it looks Our like that, no but you're right. That's died. fucked up. Then, if I'm to join you, I must die. It is you know, we cannot this is about to end, like, in two seconds, but I really need to go use the restroom, so... Sorry. <laughs> I just drank a bunch of tea, and, you know, nature is taking its course. No wonder he hates Shadow Man, it's true. What's the problem, Magneta? I had a dream, Shadowman. A real bad dream. A dead side dream. The five are here. The herald of the apocalypse. Deacon's fire confirms everything I feared. 
the end common, Shadow Man. An ancient prophecy tells of the return of a great evil to dead sight. A terrible force gathering dark souls to its darker heart and using their power to cross over into this world and bring about apocalypse. I must stop this evil from bringing about the end of all things. Only you can do it, Shadow Man. You are the walker between the worlds. I right, can't go dead side. And Jaunty's next to you in both worlds. You are the only one who oh, can wait, do Oh wait, this cutscene happens. I forgot. As it ever was. <laughs> hey, there we go. You ain't never confronted anything like this evil. It's so pure, not even the ancient protectors of the Dark Souls could destroy it. They could only banish it from dead side. They knew it'd come back one day. Hence the prophecy telling of its return. The power I don't know what I'm going to stream tomorrow, honestly. Now, and the dark souls Something else. <laughs> desires lie unprotected. We could play Turok. Do, Shadow Man, is to go it's there pretty random, I know, but... Recover the dark souls. <laughs> take them into your own protection before evil guards them to its terrible heart. Okay, so let me get this straight. If I don't recover <laughs> these dark souls, then the world... He's kind of like a horror end. version of Spider-Man. Right? You got it. Shit. Minus his powers, Look, of course. I gotta go. <laughs> this is just got a gun. To do. Take I bet this controls just them. fine. We're about to find out, I guess, you. but... Uh... I've kept your stuff safe for you. Wait, he just said shit on a Nintendo game. I hate this shit. Was the dark suit called? He said it again. Master plan. She moves me in mysterious ways. Oh, this is completely and different dialogue. Sometimes she really does move me. Oh Thinking shit! Nothing about it since, nice as you please, she knitted my ribs into the mask of shadows. I got nothing left, anyways. It's my fault, Luke's dead. And Mom. Oh wait, no, me. that's just the same dialogue. I deserve everything I get. Every bad thing that comes my way. Can't live, can't die. Dead guys are perfect good for me. A nowhere place. The asshole of the universe. So the sounds are extremely compressed, as I assumed they would be. Actually, the soundtrack doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> Could just be like the N64 doing its thing, you know? Can't heat, can't shit, can't sleep. Okay, so that's the button to open that. How do I close that? Uh, I can't strafe, and it has tank controls. Ooh, I can move the camera with the D-pad. How do I roll? Oh, I can strafe with the... Uh, oh, that's actually... It's pretty nice. I hold R at strafes. Uh, oh god, that's not very nice. <laughs> okay, down C rolls. Oh, and I can only roll forward. Well, okay. I can only roll in four directions, it seems. No. Oh, I can't even... Oh, I if I strafe and then... Yeah, okay, that's how I roll that way. At least you got a shirt now. For now. Can I do my patented move, though? Ah, oh, damn. Damn, you can't get, like, extreme speed jumping sideways, even with the strafe button. I don't know how I feel about this version. It's actually, it doesn't feel too bad, actually. <laughs> For what it's worth. Alright, my eyes are probably going to bleed if I don't turn this on <laughs> the higher uh, resolution. Oh no, I can't change it in-game. <laughs> Rip. I guess I could save and go back out. <laughs> Dude, these frames, though. <laughs> it feels like Link wearing metal boots. A little bit. Okay, I... Not so much for the sake of like, oh, I can't, I can't play like this. What the fuck is Brad for dad? Whatever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's go back to the main menu. Free saves. Let's go. No, this is my cart, my controller pack that I was reading off of. Those are some other games because it said Buck Bumble for the other one. All right, that's like tolerable. Yeah, and no notice the, the difference in size of the save files. <laughs> it's my blockbuster copy. <laughs> <clears throat>
I mean, this could be a controller pack that I got from like a store that has saves on it randomly. Because <laughs> I know one of my N64 cartridges are like that. Oh no, it put us all the way back here. Darn it. This is my penance. So needless to say, it seems like they <laughs> at least put out a nice remastered, if nothing else. I bet the PC, the old PC version is going to be nicer than this. Also, side note, I have to share my desktop to, to uh, stream the old PC version. It will not capture the window, no matter what I do. I tried it as a window, game capture, everything, nothing did anything. <laughs> Louisiana, comma, Detroit. <laughs> Swamp, in parentheses. Oh yeah, I, you know what? I keep forgetting to install that. <laughs> that actually would solve the problem. Why is it like looping that sound? Oh yeah, baby. You'd love to hear it. It's probably super cool back in the day though. Yeah, I mean, I could just share desktop though. Just don't mind all the... You know. <laughs> God damn it. God, it's like impossible to see the edge ledges in this thing. <laughs> Holy shit. Doggy. This game has secrets as well, by the way. Hey there, my it's champ. Glad it's like eight of him in here. <laughs> How could I refuse your offer? How could I ever refuse you, Agneta? You can't. I'm simply irresistible. I hope oh, you read this the seems file I gave you and read it real well. Between the lines, you'll find the signs. You got my stuff? Come on in, honey. You know, on the way over here, I got to thinking about <laughs> these dark souls. If they're so damn dangerous, why didn't the ancients just destroy them? You know, we do have a shirt, but it is also open. <laughs> their power is their immortality. If evil ever manages to implant these immortal souls into its monstrous slaves, can you imagine the kind nice grammar, of the unbeatable army would bring to the earth? <laughs> I just That's realized, taking a look at N64 version. Okay, okay. So I really gotta get to the Dark Souls before the bad guy. I understand that, but where do I find them? In Gobi. Each Gobi has <laughs> no, by the most not the Buddha. not the Dark Souls not games. Even the greatest or Mambo can open I don't think I'd finish it, but I could start a Dark Souls randomizer. Believe that was fun last time we did that. But a Shadow Man or something even more powerful just might be able to do it. Even though it spawned the, the one Souls, fucking dickhead boss like sixty it times. But be warned, the Dark Souls are a pure and ancient evil and <laughs> possess a power that should not be abused. Okay, okay. Let's just get this thing over with. <laughs> There's a JoJo mod? That, that doesn't surprise me. There's a million mods for Dark Souls. I've only The only mod I've ever played in Dark Souls, though. Jesus, Luke. He's alive. Oh my god. <laughs> alive and in pain. I've gotta help him. He's dead, Mike. You know that. Is the randomizer know, to I finish saw. that sentence? It's understandable that you still have strong feelings for your brother. That's why the bear works for you. Connect Do you know if it works that. for um? Use it now, Mike. Go the to prepare to die edition, or only for special He's edition? He's for you at the metal gate. He's got something to show you. Okay. And Mike? Yeah. Because I don't have the special if edition. Me, I'll be here. Now, go see Jaunty and get them dark souls. Cool. I, mo I know a lot of the mods, they work for both, just because, like, people that have the old version don't bother to upgrade because it's pretty much the same, and some people that have the new one can't get the old one. <laughs> oh, for Dark Souls 3, okay, so there's only one version. Gotcha. I've only played the Dark Souls 1 randomizer. I should. I love Dark Souls 3 as well. Dark Souls 2 is a solid game, but comparatively I don't care that much about it. Mike, use the bear. Go no. dead side. I want these hearts. That's not the button to use that bear. Ooh, I actually really like the way the completion layout looks in this <laughs> compared to the fucking. <laughs> it's a lot cleaner. 
Oh, I see. So there's one for all of them. That's cool. There's a lot of um uh what is it? Lord of Cinders, I think that's for Dark Souls 3, and then Daughters of Ash is also I for Dark Souls 3. Lord of and there's like the there's one that everyone talks about for Dark Souls 1 as well that's like a total conversion mod that's really my fucking good. Without the meaning that my partly living possesses here in Dead Side. I need to play those. The darkness is manifest <laughs> at the edges of reason. But Elden Ring comes out God, at the end I of the week. So. <laughs> on the writhing, separating surface of the <laughs> Dead Side Serpent. What sleep is here? What dreams there are in the unctuous coilings of the snake? Can I skip mortal. this? I can! Oh my god. I was I was actually not expecting to be able to skip this. It's our gun! That is a terrible sound. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is like way better. Like, 0 out of 4. Boom. And then 0 out of 120 overall. It's so much more clear. I know there's more information on the other screen, but... That, that's just so clean. You don't say. Hello there, Michael. How's that treating you? This kind of, you know, honestly, there's a lot of dialogue in this game. Michael the Wire has no place here in Dead Side. Whatever, Mick. It's good to see you again. Seems like simply ages Yeah, sure. Let's take a look at it. Whenever I get back to the old Dark Souls. I suppose you've been away dallying with the old battle axe. Giving our one with some of that religious voodoo so she can say... I know it's like insanely compressed, but it's actually kind of impressive. Because it's... That's the, like, space killer in terms of, like, fitting data on a cartridge for the N64. Or just any game. It's usually where there's a lot of, like, space taken up. Well, thanks. I know I've said that like a million times while talking about games, but <laughs> but it's fucking true. I don't know, fucking die. Oh, I thought I was out of health already. That looks fucking cool. Obviously the remastered version like looks better, but you know, it's still a good look. <laughs> Hold on a second here. <clears throat> Wait, so like, how do- it looks like I still have my two hands. Oh no, don't do that. Go back. There we go. Oh, okay, the gun's already in my hand. Maybe- maybe I only have the pistol in one hand and then I can like, equip other stuff. <clears throat> I can definitely see like- <laughs> It's probably just hard to deal with in general on the N64, because you have so few buttons to work with. Yeah, this is- I hold the fucking- hold the fucking everyone. Why didn't I think there would be, like, audio- wait, background audio, sound effects, there we go, boom. Oh, good, it goes down fast. Very fast. There. Now it's- Well, now it's, like, super quiet. I like that, you can actually get it quiet. Bring it to, like, 60, probably. Close enough. Right, that, that's a more reasonable volume. Sorry, I wasn't even thinking about that. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, this is fine. It's the horrid noise in our ears. A kado! Gimme. Those blood falls are definitely a lot more, like, visible. But... Alright. <clears throat> this is the trap that a lot of, um... Remasters fall into, I think. Where, like, they make things look too nice, and... Like, things that are, like, explicitly sticking out in, like, the original versions tend to, like, get... Uh... Washed over. I know, like, Halo... Remastered or whatever... Kinda did that, where it kinda made all the enemies, like... A little more like neutral toned and like you couldn't really tell them apart as easily as in the original. But like the waterfalls look so like they fit so well with the rest of the scenery, but it's a it's a key object you have to interact with at a certain point. That especially because you don't start out with the ability to interact with them, like it makes you less likely to remember where they were when you come like once you get the ability and like, oh shit, 
those are a thing I needed to worry about. In this one, you think? I guess it's just because nothing's moving in this, that it looks like it stands out more to me. And it's also like slightly translucent in the remaster, so it's like... Yeah, I mean, it might not be perfect here, but... I, def I definitely think this is like... Sorry, that specific thing is like a little better visually. I'm gonna die right now. Shit. <laughs> Honestly, I think I might have uh, seen plenty of this. <laughs> Not, oh, that's cool. I guess. <laughs> that's, that, not so much the cursor, but being able to, like, target around this thing. Did I kill him? I did kill him, okay. Stanky leg back up. That is a hundred percent. A lot of these animations have made me giggle quite a bit. God, this like this area is very good at teaching you the basics because there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff they throw at you here at the beginning. But coming back to this after having like just finished the game with all the powers <laughs> is not very fun. It's like oh, I want to do this thing and that thing and just hit. Hop all over the freaking place with all my powers, but I can't. So I'm stuck at like 3 FPS walking around here. Alright, we're live again. Yeah, un unsurprisingly... Oh, whoa. <laughs> the movement is better in the remaster. I, I want to see how the movement in, like, the old PC version stacks up against the remaster, because I feel like that one might be pretty decent. It's not actually terrible in this game. I was expecting it to be really bad, because uh, a lot of games that, like, were PC games that just got a port to N64 were, like, a little rough in that department, because, I mean, the fuck do you do with this thing? <laughs> Uh, where do I put my gun away? Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, there's a cap there. He's just hovering like a, like a Rayman. Uh oh. Back, ye foul beast. God damn, die already. There we go. Dude, they they take so long to die. I chose to do the N64 right after the PC version or the remastered PC version because I wanted the the most visually like scarring jump between the versions. We <laughs> can't have the like gradual decline. That would be too uh reasonable. I think I got where I'm going. What was that invisible wall that just pushed me off of the fucking way I was trying to go? Honestly, yeah, like, they did pretty well with, um, like, the mix between targeting, like, locking movement direction, and, uh, like, auto-aim. I think those three things kind of made this a lot more serviceable. Textures were, in fact, going nuts right there. Can confirm. God, I need to be able to charge this up so I can actually do some damage. Man, I took a lot of damage from that fire. actually know where I'm going, even though I've literally been playing the oh god, no, it went all the way back. Oh no. <laughs> I don't like that. Whew. 
Ooh. But I mean, yep, it's more or less the same game. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now, I don't know, like, what's not in here, and I, I probably have to finish the whole game to find out what's not in this version that is in the remastered version. But, I, looking at the guide, so when I was, like, stuck in the one area, the two, two of the areas I tried to use a guide on, uh, the only guides available online didn't list those levels, so I, I think that, like, two of the serial killer areas are not in the old version of this game. So I think someone had mentioned that there was, like, cut content that they restored for the remastered, which is awesome. Like, <laughs> hell yeah. I think I'm cheesing this. You know what? I don't care, though. Can you climb to the right, Michael? Use your other hand, at least, or something? Oh, now you use- oh my god. What an asshole. There we go. God damn fire. Oh my god. Grab that ledge. <laughs> I imagine that it's gonna get pretty rough frame rate wise when I get to other areas. Cause this, there's not even really a lot going on in this one, or in this like level, and it's already getting pretty, uh, pretty rough. You know what? Uh, I don't know how fast I could get there, but I, I would love to see the boss from like the first level. Because that thing, like, looks really complicated on the PC version, and I want to know what it looks like on this. <laughs> but I don't know how long it would take me to get there. And I do want to leave some time to play, like, the old PC version of this game. I don't know. I know I'm, I'm just, like, a broken record right now. <laughs> it's the internal goon thought process, except it's in external now. <laughs> what else is new? Uh, okay, hey, we're back to the jump I fucking somehow floundered. Should be the exit to this tutorial area. Maybe. Hey, look, a level zero door. It's very weird that you can play without this meter over here. <laughs> like, why Why would you ever not want to know your health or what your charge is at? I guess if you were, like, really, really role-playing. I'm not reading that. We've already read that. Oh, my gun. I want to know how to... Okay, well, I want to equip my weapon. Oh, it auto-equips it. <laughs> I want to know how to put something in my other hand, though. Oh, I think I know. Probably like B button. Yeah, there we go. So I just realized I haven't used B for anything yet. Oh, so it so it actually has the same like handedness controls. That's that's impressive. <clears throat> Pardon me. That's impressive. Found a way to do that. Oh man. However, will I open that door? Oh, I thought that was supposed to be a bridge. The power of 2 FPS gameplay. <laughs> I embrace it. That's sort of like the other curse of like N64 ports of games. Some of these voice clips actually don't sound too bad. It's kind of cool. Oh, the charge meter looks like a little rough there. Is 
So this one is a level 2 door, right? Yep, sure is. Bye, <laughs> enemies that were coming at me. We, we could probably reach the boss without too much time. Or without taking up too much time. B basically, if I just go straight there and ignore the Dark Souls. Which would be a foolish thing to do, but... <laughs> whatever. Souls that drift beyond the narrow gates. Yeah, I don't care about that. We got the general idea of how compressed the audio is. I'm just moving on now. Okay, which way gets me there faster? I don't know. It is not this way. I know it's not. Oh yeah, we gotta go do this. Oh, I did actually want to know how the swimming controls were, so... I guess we're about to find out, huh? First we gotta press this button. Then we gotta go for a swim. Mikey. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the swimming controls are inverted. Not bad, though. Other, other than that. <laughs> Don't bite me. Wow. Oh, I thought they did, like, a shitload of damage for some reason. Wait, can you target the enemy that's killing you right now, Michael? Where'd he go? I'm gonna kick his ass. He's behind me, isn't he? Oh, shit. Oh, there's another one, too. Damn, I'm so weak! Oh, God. Please blow up so I can get some health back, you ass. These guys take, like, a million years to blow up. Oh, no, my patented runaway technique is not working. Don't call me Michael. Call me Shadow Man 64 <laughs> Also true. 100% accurate. <laughs> Alright, don't kill. eagerly await the streamer that I watch who's trying to beat every single N64 game when he reaches this title. <laughs> no, get in there. My god, get in there. I mean, it's not like it's gonna be impossible. This game's not, like, crazy hard or anything. But it's just... It's, it's gonna be something. I'll tell you that. Now, is this Kadu in a dickhead spot like in the other version? It is! In that same fucking spot. So, the temple is relatively around here somewhere. But I think I need to, like, pull a lever down first or something. Oh, I'm actually already at that max uh, HP. I'm also vaguely curious to know if it's like, um, I think I go this way maybe. I want to know if it's still like a hundred could do for a health upgrade. But I guess I could see, right? Somewhere in here. No, it's not going to tell me how many could do there are, because the pause screen doesn't either. It only shows me Dark Souls. No, I've just gone backwards. Oh, okay, well in that case... Maybe the door I went up to was the way to go? Please don't kill me, don't, don't kill me. At least not until I get my checkpoint. Then do whatever you want. Ooh.
Why did I miss that? Oh, I had to climb to it. Oh, uh, jerk. You're like so level one charging is not even like a thing you think about. <laughs> I'm curious if I had encountered this game as a young lad, if I would remember it fondly or be like, oh, that game was janky as hell. Well, again, depends on which system I encountered it on, right? <laughs> well, okay, I say that, but then I grew up with Duke Nukem uh, 64 <laughs> and still love that game somehow, so. For the record, I'm, I'm a pretty. Uh, I would say like I'm a huge fan of Duke 3D, but I like it. Like, even current day. In fact, we finished that up on stream not too long ago. But. Duke 64. Ooh boy. Hey, we're here now. Give me that teddy bear. Yay, we got it. We're gonna talk about bad ports onto the N64. <laughs> that's that's a pretty bad one. I do, however, remember playing StarCraft 64, but I it was after I had played um like StarCraft on the PC, <laughs> so I had a reference point. At least it's not Duke Forever. I've never played Duke Forever. I've watched my roommate play that when it came out, and I also have made John St. Well, not made John St. John. Got John St. John to uh, prank call my friend and raz him for not liking Duke Duke Forever. <laughs> I really wish I had that video still. <laughs> yeah, it didn't look great. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll say that much. Side note, though, I say John St. John is, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'd believe that. No, 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 I'm not paying attention. <laughs> he's, a, he's a chill dude. As the aforementioned story of me getting him to prank call my friend. <laughs> <clears throat> like, he was just at a convention talking about voice acting, and he's, like, hanging around with people afterwards. And then he's like, so, so I don't know who started it, but like someone was like, hey, will you prank call my friend? And then like, it just became like a line of people who were like, me next, me next. Another ironic thing about that game too, or at least about Duke Nukem 3D, is, uh, I know back in the day, people thought it was, like, fairly misogynistic, but all, all of Duke's dialogue is written, well, or was written by a woman. <laughs> I know that it's impossible that a woman could be misogynistic, but I think people just missed out on the, the ironic quality of, of that game. <laughs> it's clearly, like, that was all more or less supposed to be, like, a parody of Macho Man, like, action guy. Tropes and stuff like that. Ow! I seem... That sounds really... Is that, is that like a meme? Where it's just him reading off, like, a silly thing? And it's like various different stuff. It's oh okay, it's a book. Maybe I'm getting mixed up then because I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> Audio okay. <laughs> Everything cut out like at once there. I guess we don't get any more music. Sorry, chat. We've been bad, and now <laughs> we can't can't listen to stuff. We're gonna see this boss. We're actually not very far away from it. After the boss, I might 
Oh my god. This thing did so much damage. Get out of my way. Oh shit. I am so fucking weak right now. This is insane. Why are there three of you here? I can't fight off three of you. This actually looks very different from what the remastered one looked like. I don't remember this room. Please. Oh my god. If I could take another one of them out, there'll at least be some progress before I die. There we go. Okay, good. Also, I could probably survive now, too. What the fuck? Where did the, another one came from? Come from? Came from? Old manual about internet usage. <laughs> Always join AOL chat rooms. The end. End of book. Yeah, I don't think this room was in here at all. Unless I'm mistaken. Maybe that was the boss and there is no boss down here. <laughs> Yeah, there was a whole labyrinth of like, oh, yep, yep, there was, there is no boss. That's entirely either in the remastered or just cut from the N64 version. How much do I have to offer? I wonder. Oh, it is. Apparently it's also Kato. And not could do. But like I said, I don't speak French, so sue me. I don't know. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. I wonder if I go over here. It has the same number of squares that <laughs> that the other game did. What plays worse, Quest 64 or this? It's been a really long time since I played Quest 64. I, my friends really like that game, but I feel like it's not good. <laughs> like, I never, I was never a fan. <laughs> it's, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. <laughs> How do I put this away? Ah, there we go. It's not as easy to, like, just put one thing away with this control scheme, but again, I'm on an N64 controller. <laughs> not a, not exactly a plethora of options for them to, to choose between. Do not go flying into the lava, please. Okay. But you know what? I don't even care about these hearts. What I need are dark souls. And I wouldn't mind some health. There we go. Ooh, here's a good question. Where the hell is the artifact then? Because the area that it was in the remake, or the remastered, just isn't here, flat out. <laughs> I feel like Quest 64 runs at a higher frame rate. I don't know if that necessarily makes it better, but... <laughs> this game's still cool, though, in this form. It's just it's a little rough around the edges. <laughs> Oops, wrong button. There's obvious, or there's clearly better ways to play this game. <laughs> but lacking any of those options, you could probably pick a worse game to play on the N64. Yeah, we need to get to Soul Level 2 so we can go to the Asylum. I I'm gonna at least give this a solid hour of gameplay. So we're, we're halfway there, chat. <laughs> I would love to see what the serial killer area looks like, but I don't think we're going to find one of the chest things and get to that area in an hour. Even if I did my best to try to focus on doing only that, I just don't think I know where to go to do that <laughs> enough to be able to find it. Dude, I'm not even going to attempt to fight these fuck- Those birds were a pain in the ass on PC. I can only imagine how hard they would be to fight here. It's so quiet. It's, like, insanely quiet. You can do this. 
It'll make it noisy for like a couple seconds at least. <laughs> Shadow Man's feet shuffling softly. Oh, I wonder if this will have... There's like... There's one texture that you walk on. It does seem to be doing this in general. But there's one texture I walked on in the other version that like was super loud like metal noises whenever I walked over it. Uh, nice and peaceful. No, don't fall asleep, chat. I know, it's so- you know, the thing is, it's really loud in the fucking remastered version, too, because they just take the same sound effect, and I guess they didn't balance or anything. Ooh, we got lucky. <laughs> I'm very lucky that hit me after I got over the- the platform. So the, also, the fact of, like, nothing else playing audio-wise audio <laughs> certainly doesn't help the situation. I'll say that. <clears throat> Oh, man. Jarring quiet. There we go. We got our music back. I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. The music actually sounds pretty good. I think that transferred over pretty well. In fact, it loops just fine. I don't know why there's so many like areas that are just full-on silent. <laughs> Let's keep playing the song. Oh, I know where this goes. I don't need to be over here. Darn it. Wait, there might be a Dark Soul over here. Damn, oh, man. Oh, wait, no, this is completely different. Okay, well, it is leading where I think it... Yep. Yep. <laughs> that looks like I might be able to crawl across it. Nah, there's no way. So this, the layout is a little different. They actually restructured a couple areas, it seems. Either that or they restructured it for N64. Again, time will tell. I'm gonna, so I didn't get a copy of the PS1 version, legal or otherwise. <laughs> uh, so we won't be playing that tonight, but I imagine the PS ver PS1 version is probably like Noticeably better than this version, and then like probably just a little bit worse than the PC version. If I had to guess. Okay, that those guys are in my way, they're gonna be a problem. Oh boy. I don't really know. There's not like a ton of Dark Souls you can get when you're here the first time. So I don't know what it wants from me right now. Let me go back this way. There's a couple in this like little village area though. We need to get to level 2 of, of Dark Soulsery. And ideally I'd like that uh, fire weapon, but I have no idea where to get it in this version. Oh, it looks like a rope goes over there. I gotta find a button. Pardon me, I'm burping. Do 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 do. It's almost like the worst situation because there is music, so it's not even just like there's no music and okay, well I could just go put on my own, I guess. Like, I, like uh, the, was it the SNES port of Doom? Or no, no, it's the Sega CD version, I think, of of Doom. That like, it's like a pretty good port, but it has no music because I couldn't fit it on there. <laughs> Maybe this will take me to the place where the fire thing is at. Or maybe it's even the 3DO version. I don't even know. There's so many ports of Doom. <laughs> I 
But I feel like the 3DO would have enough space to fit music on the disc, but I don't know. Shadow Man. Who said that? Where are you? Who are you? What are you doing? Blap, 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 blap. I just thought of the, the worst thing I could do from a streamer perspective. I just went, switched from like streaming this to streaming the remastered version and swapped every like 10 minutes. <laughs> it's like here. <laughs> it's some whiplash. Wait, no, this is the area that led us to the bone thing. Yeah, it's uh, it's right up there. Okay, so this is the same. That other tunnel was definitely different, though. Oh. I have blood on mute while, while I'm modding, so I hear you and the gameplay of this. <laughs> Wacky hearing the gun in Sly Cooper. <laughs> The sun, no, Sly has like a hook or something, or like a pole. Huh? Hashtag give Sly Cooper Shadow Man's gun. I demand it. level it up? No. <laughs> no deal. I feel like the platforming is more cheesable in this version, even though I have less, like, mobility. <laughs> oh, Dark Souls up here. Hell yeah. Give me that. Oh! Uh, no, those are all up the waterfall, which I can't climb up. Okay. I was like, there's a couple more Dark Souls over there, but... Oh, okay, we're at level 2 now. Perfect. I embrace it. Oh, that is not even like a gradual bar that fills up. It's just one one bar, two bar. So this is like a game that I've always heard about. I only knew it was on N64 though, I had no idea it got ported to a bunch of other stuff. Sorry, not always heard about, but like... Re Recent-ish, like a little bit before the remaster came out, and then definitely when it came out, people were like, Oh my god, that game was like one of the coolest N64 games. It's like one of the few horror games on the console, blah blah blah. I'm like, damn, I never heard of this. And now we played it. Fun times. This is going to be a living hell, isn't it? <laughs> Getting over here. I bet there's a couple sections on the N64 that are a little rough. But, I mean, it mostly lets you plot your jumps out. There's no, like, action-y jumps. Oh, those moving platforms in the one level. That level might not be in this, for all I know, though, so... The, like, gear station or whatever it's called. That's not at all what it's called. But <laughs> I can't think of the name of it. Hit him, please. Shadow Man. I'm sure we're going back and giving devs gameplay videos, speedrunning, breaking their games, shit while doing it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, you mean like while they were in the dev process, like time travel with a... <laughs> Pretty funny. Oh, don't strafe off of this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a fairly responsible use of time travel, right? 
It's not hurting nobody. Oh god. Except speedrunners, maybe, because they might patch it. <laughs> like, oh, I can fix that right away. <laughs> it take ten years to blow up for some reason. I wonder what prompted that design decision. So, part of me thinks I should just, like, back out of here now, because there's no way... Wait, this is the tunnel I was thinking of. Uh, maybe that wasn't, like, a remodeled area then. I just thought it was in a separate spot. It turned into chunky salsa. They do indeed. Yeah, wait, damn, I didn't even know realize that. They have, like, gibbs. I'm sure those disappear after I, like... Yeah, okay. After two seconds, but... Even so. It's kind of neat. Neat looking for the time. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this tunnel still exists. No! <laughs> Whatever, man. We're out of here. It's about 10 minutes left till 11. I should probably just switch versions right now. <laughs> but, I don't know. I mean, I would just say fuck it and like stream for like a while, but... Unfortunately, I have an early morning meeting tomorrow. So I'm trying to end things a little more punctual. As I just continuously burp into my microphone, sorry about that. Oh, you can't make this jump in the N64 version. Wait, maybe you can. Damn. Ruined. Worst version. Well, we can at least peek at the asylum before I, uh, sign out. Not sign out, but <laughs> switch, switch games. I think this is the asylum entrance anyway, I don't even know. I'm the Lord of Dead Side. Wait, what's this tunnel? That's not there. <laughs> In the other version. <laughs> that would have been pleasant to have a little nice walkway over there. Pretty good. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> like legitimately though. Well, okay, let's see how the frame rate holds up. <laughs> That's the where the real cards are at here. Goodbye, frames. That's pretty smooth, though. Guess there's nothing really out here, though. <laughs> so there's that, too. Oh, no! My patented technique. Oh, I, I take it back. It's not very smooth at all. Man. The one thing that made this outdoor area fun. Taken from me. Come on, Mikey. 64 Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, I don't know why this, like, yard area is so big. I think it's just, like, a geographical thing to make everything line up. But... Is a Dark Soul just sitting over here on this version? Wait. I don't think that was there on the other version, but I could be wrong. I'm having trouble remembering right now. 
could have sworn there's a heart over there, though. This is so mean. <laughs> okay. If you do drop straight down, you'll you will actually burn there. Ow. Just like that. I'm not gonna bother jumping up to that pipe. You know what's weird? I don't remember ever getting all the way up there, like on that little catwalk. In the other playthrough. And yet we got all the Dark Souls. You know, I will say, while it didn't give us another ending, it, it was cool just to see that, like, concept art book, so I think it was worth it. Clearly there's something else behind that other level 10 door, but I have no idea what I need to do to get behind it. <laughs> also, N64 Shadow of the Colossus, except there's no bosses because they can't fit it on the cartridge. Boop, 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 boop. At least we can dance. There's that. Oh, I got mashed. This one's mashing at a different speed. No fair. I gotta be careful not to die in here, because it's I will go very far back if I do. I suppose as some insurance here, let's pull out this bad boy. No, oh, before he sucks you, get him. He sucked us. Bastard. Oh, hey. Oh, there's another guy, too. Fuck. Would you fucking aim at him? Cleanse him. You stop that. Aim! Yeah, I can charge up. Fuck you, forget it. <laughs> Alright. We're mostly back. This just has a dude in it, right? Oh no, there's actually a shortcut thing in here. Oh my god, the damage! Dude, I can't. Bullshit! Come on, dude! He cleared my entire health bar away in like a minute. Yeah, I think we're done with this version. <laughs> uh. Given that that's 73 pages of data, I'm probably good. This is the first thing on the chopping block and we need to make space, but. All the same. It was cool to see this. That was the N64 version. And now we're gonna bring the knight home with the old PC version. Although, because my bladder is very tiny. Y'all hang tight. We're switching over, or well, I'll be right back, and then we'll switch over to the PC version. <laughs> Okay. 
So, let's turn off the old N64 here. And like I said, for this version, regrettably, I need to um, just share my desktop to <laughs> make this actually show up. So, here we go. There's my desktop. Okay. Played the Shadow Man. No, 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 no. Damn it. Need a tab out of this. I hope it doesn't break. Can't see you, chat. There we go. So far, ah, Jesus Christ, that's so loud. Thousands of years. I'm sorry, everyone. I didn't. Oh, it has it has the intro, but I'm just too busy being deafened that I didn't notice it. All right, sound effects. I'm gonna need to turn you down to like one. Jesus Christ, it's loud. I'm so sorry. Rest in peace, ear users. Yeah, what a fucking noise. Wow. <laughs> Again, my bad. That's okay, it's done. They can't hurt you anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna need to edit that out when I load this part of the video. By my deeds am I known, and I am known as Jack. Have I seen Blaze of Emote dumpers, or is there another one? Yeah, I've seen those. Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, Mary Kelly. And loved them. Truly loved them all. But the immortal power I sought within the soul. <laughs> so gremlin, very much so. The still beating organ of the soul was not to be found. It reminded me that uh, another streamer I'm sub to has uh, a dumper Zemo, that, but it got taken down. <laughs> or had a dumper Zemo. Stay your hand, Jack, and listen to what I have to say. <clears throat> How did you find this place? This sounds like so I think they just used this audio. And then obviously they did a lot to touch up the resolution of the textures here, but it's pretty much otherwise the same. Oh yeah, that's pretty wispy too. So they like re remodeled some of those things maybe? Or like did the effect? High death Freddy Merc. Why is everyone's fucking shirt open? That guy doesn't, I guess. A place where you and I and others like us may join together. A place of asylum for all of the unique and misunderstood individuals that will follow you as the time of Armageddon approaches. If I just skip this, what happens? Does it go all the way to like... I hate this shit. Oh, it skipped the other <laughs> cutscene with Michael, but... She moves me in mysterious ways, and brother... Sometimes she really does. Yep, so that's me. still there. Can't do nothing about it since Legion of Shirtless Men. She knitted my ribs into the mask of shadows. Oh wait, I didn't update my title. Got nothing left anyways. Yeah, this this is in fact the N64 version. I deserve everything I get. Every bad. Now where the hell is that? That's some big UI right there. Hold on. I guess I could change my category out of Shadow Man Remastered, but whatever. <laughs> Ew! Default controls. Oh wait, hold on, this actually works with a controller. Interested to know what they set the jump button to. Ew. Oh dear god, that's awful. Okay. I need to... Uh, there, the jump button's actually not set to anything, somehow. And I've also broken my camera. Wind chimes. Oh wait, oh my god, it's left bumper. Or left trigger? What? No, it's not even doing it now. Is my left bumper broken on this controller? Start? Oh god. Can we like fix the camera somehow? 
How did I jump? Oh, it's Y. Okay. I thought I pressed Y, though. Well, that's all fucked up. Either way, we're not... I guess we're just not going to use controller. I don't think I can change the bindings for that. But I do need to change the keyboard bindings, because by default... Oh, no. Actually, I guess I can. Um... It's using the arrow keys, and that's just no good. Oh, it actually has a lock-on strafe. I think a Q would be better for that, though. Crouch. This would be good for left control, I guess. I don't know. Uh, wait, is that... That's roll, though, isn't it? Oh, God. There is no, like, roll button. It's like each one is its own button. Space is fine. Left hand... Oh, what? can I use the mouse? Shit. Maybe I can't use the mouse. Well then, I guess, in that case... I feel like tab could work, but tab might... Oh. Actually, tab's a pretty good inventory button. <laughs> uh... Maybe we'll use Z for this, but I feel like that's gonna be hard to press. I love that this plays, like, the pushing sound effect every single time I <laughs> do something. <laughs> Uh, left hand Q, right hand E. Sure, action, why not? Left alt can work for that. Camera functions, I don't know what the hell that means. Quick save F5. Oh, configure mouse, there we go. X axis, unassigned. What rotate with this? Rotate. Yeah, rotate. Why in the fuck would that not do... Oh, I can't make that, like, cycle uh, stuff or anything. Oh, okay, we don't need to worry about left hand, right hand, because it's that'll work. Action, okay, maybe we set action to E, and then Q can be our lock-on. Button 4. Now it's disabled, boom. Sensitivity, medium, low, high. Sorry, I should have done this before we started playing, but... <laughs> You know, now you get the full experience. Uh, okay, lock on strafe, we're gonna set that to Q. And then... Action E. Where was holster again? Oh, it's like left alt. Uh, I'm gonna set that to R. Erk! Uh... Uh, wait, hold on, there we go, wait, almost, can you get behind Michael, there we go, <laughs> I was so worried about that, if I could like get the camera to like zoom out a bit, that would be perfect, this mouse aim is not really doing what it should be. <laughs> I may as well not even be playing with a mouse, actually. Okay, there. There's my... Uh... I kinda wanna change that. So it's not control. Buggy. Huh? <laughs> huh? It almost looks like they got, like, fresh textures or something for the N64 version when they ported it. Because these look, like, too high quality to, like, to just be compressed in the N64. Maybe they are, I don't know. There we go. Can I, like... Oh, okay, I can make the camera back up a bit. There we go. That was, like, the main issue I was having there. Well, the good news is, chat, I can play this game one-handed now. Because <laughs> I've found the optimal control scheme. And the mouse is useless, so... Well, I, 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 it's not useless, because I'm going to need to click left and right with it when I use my items. Damn it. And I would have got away with it, too. <laughs> That's true. Sadly, I have no beer. Nettie? Hey there, Mike. Glad you could make it. How could I refuse your offer? 
How could I ever refuse you, Agneta? Yeah. I'm simply irresistible. I hope you read the file I gave you and read it real well. Between the lines, you'll find the sign. You got my stuff? <laughs> Come on in, honey. You know, on the way over here, I got to thinking about these dark souls. If they're so damn dangerous... I don't know why I'm... Wait, it's not just like a generic, uh, maybe. No, why am I grabbing these? Let's just get on with it. <laughs> Tab. Problem is, I have everything bound to my left hand and my drink is on my left, so... Shadowborn at the confluence. Yeah, yeah, cool. Ah. <laughs> okay, music. You're coming down here with the sound effects volume. <laughs> I feel like maybe when I'm in first person mode, the mouse will actually aim properly. Oh, it's. What the fuck? Inverted is off, but it's inverted for some reason. Uh, wrong area. Mouse. Reverse Y axis. Apparently, I need to say yes to that to make it not inverted. <laughs> Let me turn the sensitivity to high. Maybe it'll barely have any effect on anything. Cool. Okay, that's super sensitive. Guess we'll just deal with that. Um, what I want to do is swap two of the other controls too while I'm at it. Yeah, I want this to be left shift and you can be control. So we're not going to be like sniping every two seconds or anything. Or hell, actually F could be control. Or snipe, I mean. <laughs> Some of it works decently with a controller, but I don't know. Kindly refer to me as Shadow Man. Michael Awards. Yeah, whatever, Michael. Damn, he sucked me right away. Little bastard. Also interesting on the N64 version, it seemed like fractions of your health bar were not, like, visible. Like, it would track it, but it would not, like, go halfway down or anything like that. Ow. Whereas this seems to retain that feature. I'm also sorry to report that, uh, it seems that... My trick will also not work in this version. That is a Shadow Man remastered only trick. You know what it is, too? There's a little delay when you start your jump that's not there on uh, the remastered version. Good change. Oh boy. Down, doggy. That's really what's blocking me from being able to do it. It's just that and nothing else. I'm getting lost here. Yep. This is most definitely not where I need to be. Roll, damn you. Haha, let's see you get out of that. Oh, he doesn't even go in there. Maybe shift for like target lock on would be good. Oh, we're here. Good. Oh my god, the shortcut didn't exist in the other version.
Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna swift swap again. Swift swap. Adventure saved. I'm gonna get the controls just right, and then we're gonna never play this again. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we want crouch to be Q and lock on strafe to be left shift. It's honestly a pretty rough, uh, rough port. I I wonder. So, I am playing this off of like Steam, but I mean, it says it's the old version. I I don't know. Looks like someone left me a note. I mean, I certainly don't uh, <laughs> have any point of reference to compare it off of. But there's definitely some things in here that are very old in style. Uh oh. Oh, uh, I don't know how to sign this in my left hand. Or how to get out of here, for that matter. Oh, never mind. <laughs> hey, we can do it again. Uh, so it's just the N64 version that we're not able to do that. Man, some things, like his voice, are like so quiet because all the other sound effects are super loud. <laughs> You know, as much as like the remastered also has like a couple of audio balance issues, <laughs> there's uh they they definitely touched some things up. I will say that. Oh hush. Unsalvaged souls that drift beyond the narrow gates for any. All right. Let's get some over-under bets. What do you think they're gonna have a boss in here? Yay or nay? Oh, now. So we actually don't need to activate this bridge to go up there. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Or to open the thing down here, I mean. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I have no idea how to move forward. Okay, jump. Jump moves us forward. <laughs> Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> Swimming is definitely much better in the remake. Uh oh. Uh oh. That movement is also better, but I think that probably goes without saying. Owie! God damn it. You know what, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna open this fucking thing. <laughs> Fuck you, enemies. Cursed games for you. <laughs> True. You do be like that. Oh, I killed him, but he's, his buddy's gonna kill me. Now he's gonna kill me. Oh my god. Wait. Haha! -ha. Smell you later, jerk. Yes! I wonder if our, like, gun charged slowly on the uh, N64 version, but we just couldn't see it because it only shows you one square at a time. It's entirely possible. These guys are definitely a lot deadlier. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, the water level probably sucks in this version of the game. It's really hard to just do some basic navigation here. Uh... Got it. Hey, some help. Got it. Got it. Oh yeah, we never grabbed that Dark Soul in the last one. Or in the other version. Oh, you know what? I just said, like, oh, it's probably really hard to beat that game without dying uh, for the other achievement on the Steam version, but you can just save at any time. So it's really not. <laughs> Great. Or it wouldn't be, like, crazy hard or anything. Alright, we go up here. Might be a little annoying, but I think the, the main things that kill you, other than that one boss that's in the temple up here, 
There's, um, like all those jumps that are dangerous, but if you could save before doing them, then they suddenly become a lot less dangerous. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be a shadow... shadow run... shadow man speedrunner. <laughs> You know, I will say, some of this almost looks about the same in the remaster. <laughs> but there are definitely things that they touched up on. To be perfectly fair. I mean, the biggest improvement overall is just the game feel. Like, goddamn, a lot of this is like so stiff. I, it, it's probably obvious just looking at me play, I guess, but... <laughs> Just to say it out loud and confirm it is actually, uh, it's as stiff as it looks. Where I, It feels great in the remake, or the remake, the remaster. Much more fluid movement. I would honestly put this on par with the N64 version. But, I don't know, if I got my controller working right, maybe it wouldn't be, like, too bad to play with a controller. I have no idea why I'm grabbing all these catos. 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 <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Oh, I should have grabbed the uh, fire thing before going in here. That would have been smart. Because regardless of whether we're fighting the, the boss from the other version or this game, or the N64 versions of the boss, Still is not easy. <laughs> fight all those dudes, especially when I can barely fight these guys. I think I'm doing like worse in combat than I was when I was playing the N64 version. <laughs> oh god. Well, at least it does remember who I killed, so... At least I hope it does. I, I guess I haven't confirmed that it does in this version. No, I almost got away with it. Oh my god! That stupid little, like, half-step. <laughs> Stop me from moving forward, goddamn. Yeah, we're fucking dead. If this does, in fact, lead to, like, that five hit. Yep, looks like it does. Wait, no, this is this thing. Haha, fuck you guys, I'm out of here. This looks way different, too. It's all bloody. Oh, so this is, like... That's kind of interesting. So that's the thing you fall down after fighting the boss in the remastered version. But... That wasn't there in the N64 version, it was just a hole. Ah, cool. If I can ever figure out how to equip it. <laughs> well, that's not how you do it. I honestly think it's not registering the mouse inputs on this menu, and I need to go bind something for left hand, right hand. That's annoying. Oh, okay. Well, let's do that. <laughs> Z and X, because why not? Uh, okay, so tab. Yeah, that's 100% what it was. That's so stupid. Okay. Oh wait, that's to first person look. How did... I thought I said R to holster. Uh... He won't put his guns away. <laughs> That's actually going to be a problem when I need to climb up something. Got it. Oh, that works too.
Yeah. Run, Michael. Ow. Oh no, I haven't left these guys alive. Uh. So, there's like another village area somewhere around here that should have like a dark soul or two that I can grab. Wait, maybe I gotta go this way to get there. And I've been wrong before. Damn it. Um. Nice try, son of a bitch. I see, like, only taking a step forward at a time. He needs some milk. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that emote is. Wait, is this the tunnel I need to go into? Maybe this is just it. Oh my god. <laughs> Why, thank you, Bladehelm. Welcome on in, everybody. I'm Mr. Goon and Watch, and we're playing, uh... Shadow Man. <laughs> hey, what's up, Possum? Five ways. Hope everybody's doing well. Thank you again for the raid there, Blight. Uh, so we finished the remastered version of this game, and then... So I haven't had enough Shadow Man yet. I wanted to check out the older versions of this game. So right now we're playing the, uh, the old PC version of this game. And it's not too bad, it looks about on par with the remastered. There's definitely some things in the remastered that look better, but... Uh, the main thing is the controls are, like, way worse. <laughs> Both just, like, how responsive your character is to inputs, as well as... Uh, Got it. Just getting the game to bind your controls properly is kind of a nightmare. <laughs> like, I can't make him look left and right with the mouse for some reason. But, uh, yeah, other than that, it's still pretty fun. We also tried the uh, N64 version, and that was, uh, something. <laughs> Certainly was something. <laughs> yeah, overall, this game is actually really fun, like the the main game, Shadow Man. If anyone likes collectathons, I would recommend it. Hey, what's up, Penguin? Hey, Clockwork. Hello, Water. Uh-oh, get me out of here. They're gonna eat me alive. Oh shit. I'm gonna get stun locked into this, aren't I? Nope, we're good. We're out of here. <laughs> but you know, the huge. I have no plans to finish this on uh, <laughs> this version at all. <laughs> but I just wanted to give it a look and see what, what it was all about. How'd, uh, how'd Sly Cooper go for you, by the way? White Helm. And or... <laughs> viewer. <laughs> Viewers. Oh shoot, I actually need two Dark Souls to make this work. Crap. I think you can cheese that. I bet you can reach that platform and get up there without needing the ability to climb waterfalls. Man, they drag you down when they bite you. <laughs> so mean. But sent her to her basement. Uh, can't stay as she plans on wrangling me again. <laughs> Hope you enjoy the PC version of this. Why, thank you. Take care, Korean. I all right. We're gonna try to cheese this. I might die from this. I probably will actually. Ooh, easy every time. That is absolutely not how you're supposed to get that one, but I also don't care. <laughs> So this is kind of like a collectathon for anyone not familiar with the game. Not dissimilar to like Banjo Kazooie or I'd say it's probably closer to Metroid, if anything. But it's got some like Tomb Raider esque platforming in it too. Got it. Kind of a weird little game. Thanks. Much appreciated. Yeah. Okay. So that was just the door I needed to go into that I somehow couldn't find. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, there should be a rope I can climb across, and then that'll get me the other Dark Soul that's around here. 
Uh, maybe this one? Oh, these guys can hit me and knock me off of this. I hope that doesn't happen. Uh... It's looking risky. So sorry, I'm like... somewhat in a daze right now. Wrap this game up, I'm just kind of like... Vibing, you know? Channel me. And boom, there's our Dark Soul. Some desk clutter. Ooh. Mr. Hickey Dude, I got something for you. I guess that's not on my desk, so I will not cheat. But I do have this. Got a, uh... USB to serial input converter, <laughs> which I plan to use in conjunction with these floppy disks and a device that's over there that I can't pick up without getting up uh, to try and connect my N64 cartridges <laughs> to uh, my PC. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see. That is not the way I needed to go. Oops. Oh man, I almost got that. And I feel like I could probably just grab onto like anything here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cheating. Oh, those guys do a lot of damage. Okay. Probably need to shoot those guys. I need some space first. Wait, can I just do this? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> it's not completely cheesable, but it's pretty dang close. There's, like, way more guys over here in this version compared to, uh... Well, even the remastered version doesn't have this many, but... Also, N64 only had, like, three of them. Alright, use your targeting. Oh, shit. Okay, I guess when you just bombard them with bullets, they're not much of a threat. However, they do some damage, so you know what? I'm not messing with that. Got it. Uh, okay, yeah, there's no way in hell we can reach that. It looked like we could just like climb up to like maybe even this platform though. Oh shit! Why are there so many of you? So, technically, I actually have enough souls to leave right now, but there's a weapon up there that I would like to grab since we're in the... in the general vicinity of it. Fortunately, being, like, completely pounded by, like, 80,000 of these, uh, doublehead guys... God. It's so much help! Alright, good, he's dead. Well, it's my only weakness. You should have known better. I have no idea why I'm grabbing those hearts. So those hearts, for every hundred you get, you get an extra uh, <clears throat> notch on your health bar there. But I won't be playing this long enough to get enough, so <laughs> there's not really a point to that. Wait, I can actually use this on him since I'm level with him. This be See, unlike this weapon, the other one that I'm holding doesn't home in on enemies, so it's kind of annoying. Shadow me. That's my lock on purple now. Oh, we never found out what the shotgun head cheat does. <laughs> I just realized that. I'm guessing it only worked on, like, enemies that I didn't see after I turned the cheat on, so... I don't know.
Okay. On to this level. Oop. But first, some health. So I'm noticing so far, like, it has a lot of the same, like, uh, I guess not cut content, but, like, the extra stuff that was there in the special edition is not here in, like, the old PC version. So that makes me think that, like, the N64 version actually has, like, more or less the full game length of content, which is pretty impressive considering how much, like, or how little space they had on that system. But then again, the sound was, like, super compressed, so... It's probably where they saved their space. It also ran at like 3 FPS, so they didn't really have a lot of optimizations, but that's not so much a space thing as it was probably more of a general headache setting it up. I gotta say, I think I might actually control the or, uh, prefer the controls of the N64 version over this one, but I also might have just not found like the best way to set up my controls. The default ones were awful though, so <laughs> this is definitely better than those were. And to be somewhat fair, it does have controller support, I just couldn't get it to, like, bind my controller properly. But imagine that a game from, like, the 90s doesn't work with an Xbox One Elite controller. <laughs> Docker, I know. Ah, the flames! I'm actually kind of shocked that it, like, controlled pretty well on N64. Like, it is a platformer, so, like, that's definitely working in its favor, but, uh, there's a lot of buttons in this game, and I think they found a pretty good way to streamline them. Definitely wasn't easy to do some of these moving platform jumps and stuff like that, but overall not too bad. It's not like Duke Nukem 64 levels of awful, where it's like, oh god. I can barely play this. Like, yes, it technically works, but goddamn. Oh, wait, don't do that. Jump like this. I 100% did not mean to do that, <laughs> but there you go. Oh, God. <laughs> That was almost tragic. Ah, oh, you can't dance as fast in this game. You can kind of twerk a bit, but it's not as good. I guess this area... You, actually, that's weird. So, this area has music in the remaster, and it's like the worst song ever. I'm very pleasantly surprised to see it's not playing right now, because it's like literally has, uh, like metal scraping on, like, on metal sound effects. But it's weird that they would have added that monstrosity. Do you mind not murdering me, sir? Jesus Christ. Just every bit of pain in the ass that he was in the N64 version. Here we go again. Don't target the weak guy! Oh, Michael, why? Why do you like this? Alright, we got him. There is actually a door in here, so I kind of need to go in here. As much as I don't want to, because he's got this dude in here. Ooh. More point redemptions. Alright, what do we got here? Um, I'm trying to think of something new that I have. Not really, like, too many uh, <laughs> new movies or games that I've got that I can read the back of, but... What's this? Yeah, sure. I'm actually borrowing this from a friend, and I've been borrowing it for, like, three years. Southland Tales. The movie Southland Tales. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is perfection. I guess it's a review, not the synopsis, but whatever. 
Southland Tales is an ensemble piece set in the futuristic landscape of Los Angeles as it stands on the brink of social, economic, and environmental disaster. Boxer Santaros, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, is an action star who's stricken with amnesia. His life intertwines with Krista Now. Oh, Krista Now, that's her name. Sarah Michelle uh, Geller an adult film star developing her own reality TV project, and Ronald Taverner, Sean William Scott, a uh, Hermosa Beach police officer who holds the key to a vast conspiracy. I need to watch that and give it back to my friend. But until then, it sits on my shelf. There's two of you in here! Oh, God! Help! Help! Okay, we got him. Man, okay. That was my mistake on the N64, was just not using... Uh, whatever this thing's called. I think it's a, a tong? Or however you actually appropriately pronounce that in French. <laughs> because I don't speak French. Uh-oh, we gotta use our first person aiming. What button did I set that to? Q? Nope. Uh, left control? Nope. Oh, it's, uh, E. Nope, that's not it either. F? F, there we go. Ah, I baited myself. You can't break that open. <laughs> Damn it. Why? I shot him the second I came in here. There's like a barrier. This is nonsense. All right, good. Oh crap! Not two of you again. Oh, that's their health. That's why it's turning purple. I did not realize that. Yeah, back up. Give me more space. It's good. It's good. I'm running low on mana, so I really need to like. <laughs> Take care of these guys in some other way. Uh, I think there might be a Dark Soul in one of these rooms. I could be super wrong about that, though. There might be a mana refill, so worth checking at least for that, I suppose. Hit him! No! He got back up, damn it! Oh, God. Does he get full health when he recharges like that? Uh, I'm at the very beginning of the game. We're not going to actually finish this. I'm just pr pretty much streaming it for about like 20 more minutes. Um, I actually finished this game earlier in the stream. Yay, mana! Like, as you can see from our... Oh, there's no Hot Wheel. Well, I guess I could go here. As you can see from our inventory, we're pretty empty. There's a lot of areas that you go to in this game, though, that you come back to like later in the game, so... It's... <laughs> Kind of hard to tell if you're like just jumping it. The, the the key giveaway, I guess, in this game is the meter in the lower right hand corner. So, uh, the more the inner two parts of that are filled up, that's kind of the further in the game someone is. Oh my god, he got up in the last second. So that goes up as you get more Dark Souls. And right now we're at like two bars. But both the yellow one and the blue one. The, the blue one, like, charges up. That's, that's my pistol that I'm, like, powering up. Oh, God. <laughs> I knew this was going to be a thing when I ran into the first armed enemy. Excuse me, sir, can I get that Dark Soul behind you? Oh, my God. Okay, I got him good. Whew. Oh, man. I can buy some followers. Hold up. We're going to have to... Yeah, to see my desktop for a second chat. Yeah, fun fact, you actually- or I can't get this thing to like capture the window properly, so I'm just doing like display capture. No, not raid. God damn it, man. <laughs> Stop auto-filling parameters, Twitch. Dude, it did it again. It's already typed in. There we go. Jesus. Yeah, basically, we finished the game in the remastered version, and I wanted to go see what the older versions of this game were like, so we went and played two of them. I didn't play the PS1 version because I don't have a copy of it, but, uh... We played the N64 version, and then now we're playing the old PC version. Which, I think, actually, you can buy the old PC version on Steam, although I wouldn't recommend it, because the remastered is just loads better in every way. And it has more stuff in it, too, so... Yeah, I didn't know that either. Someone on, someone in chat told me that. Which, I guess, to be fair, I haven't even confirmed that it is, but... I, you know. <laughs> it's someone that is fairly regular here and doesn't really, you know... Would have no reason to lie about something like that. Oh, where the 
hell? Oh, I know where to go. Yeah, I didn't even know it was on PC either. And then, like, I looked in my library and I'm like, oh, apparently I have the old version of it. I don't know when I bought this, but here it is. Okay, so that'll loop me back around. I don't want to go down there. Because I didn't even hear about this game until, like, the remastered came out, like, a couple years ago. Or last year, even? I don't know. But I'm like, oh, shit. That sounds right up my alley, but I just never played that as a kid. Yes, here we go. Please don't die. I gotta fucking go in gun blazing. Literally. No! No, 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 no! Okay, good. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Okay, good, I got the engineer's key, but I'm, I'm gonna... Oh god, this is bad. Uh, yep, that's kind of what I was afraid of. I don't know how I didn't finish him off. That was nuts. Woo, okay. I will send us back a long way if we die, so I'm just not looking forward to that. Whereas now, we have a shortcut opened. So it's not so bad. I don't know why I put a little spice on that sentence, but it's not so bad. Ooh. Anyway, sorry for all the yelling there. Oh, shit. How did... What the... I swear you need to hit them with more than, like, the base shot to make them die in this version. Okay, we have no health, but full mana. This, this could end well. <laughs> Probably won't, but it might. There's like six guys with shotguns in this room, so... I'm not looking forward to this. How are you alive? Okay, there we go. One down. I think I can hide behind the Dark Soul, or the whatever that thing's called. There's a thing, there's a name for the thing that the Dark Souls are inside of, but I have no idea what it is. It's something super simple, which is why I keep forgetting what it is. Another one down. What is this aiming? Oh god. Our health's going up, though. Would you aim at the fucking guy? Oh my god. <laughs> Consider this a, uh... Perfect example of why you should never even consider buying the old version of this on Steam. Uh. I remember people got like pretty angry when like they took down. Uh, speaking of Dark Souls, uh, the original Dark Souls on Steam when they released the remastered, but that in that situation I feel like it was a little more justified because like they changed stuff that. Is like pretty noticeable and didn't really like make huge improvements on the remastered but uh at the same time the old version had fucking games for windows live okay the worst thing ever invented by microsoft somehow <laughs> in a plethora of other bizarre products they've released over the years So as a result, it's not the easiest thing to get running. And I can kind of understand why they want to take it off the store, but... Eh. <laughs> That's a pretty shitty, like, defense for it. Just, <laughs> eh, whatever. <laughs> oh, crap. dangerous. Why'd I do it this way? Please turn around. Oh god. Well, that could have gone worse, considering the way I just rushed in there. Yeah, I don't like- it's like, it forces you to be way too methodical with the way you traverse the areas. The remastered is just, like, super fluid with everything you do. And, I don't know, maybe it's possible to get, like, turning down to your mouse properly, but I couldn't seem to get it to work. So, oh well. 
But hey, that's what that's what we're here for. We're just <laughs> checking out the differences. Wait, can I open that? Oh, it is open. Oh, okay, it wasn't open. I don't know why I'm like making sure I open all these shortcuts. I don't think I'll ever be coming back to this version of the game. <laughs> but whatever. Even so, adventure saved. I wish the wheel for like selecting items was in this version. The thing is super nice. Well, we don't have any retractors, so I could go to the serial killer area, but I can't get into any of their their tombs, unfortunately. That's an evil tangent. I actually have one that was that I was about to go on, and I stopped myself. So I don't know that this game necessarily needs a remaster. Oh, this only goes in one place. Uh, but uh, on the topic of games for Windows Live. One game that's incredibly hard to get working right now uh, is Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City because it uses games for Windows Live and uh, since that's just a defunct service, it's just, like a pain in the ass to get it working. The last time I had it working I had to like update games for Windows Live on my PC like manually, like go to some website and get an old install file of it. But then that stopped working, so I don't know if they like completely sunset that service or what. But I got it to a point where like it skips, like there's like a fan patch or something that like skips around games from Windows Live, but it breaks the matchmaking. So I can't play that game co-op anymore unfortunately now. Wait, this is the serial killer area. So that other area just doesn't exist then? Whoa. Oh, you know what I didn't look up? Okay, so this has a similar meter of, like, here's the number of Dark Souls in this area. Oh, maybe there's no such thing as retractors in this game. Well, even if there weren't, we wouldn't really be able to do anything once we got into the serial killer areas, because we'd just be normal Michael, we wouldn't have our Shadow Man power, so we wouldn't be able to finish it. That's some dark dark area here. Oh, I can actually keep going down. <laughs> Just pitch black. But yeah, like I said, it's not, not the best Resident Evil title. In fact, I'm, I don't even really like it that much, but it is unfortunate that it's one of the harder games to play. On top of being not that great. Oh, he doesn't know. Stealth him. And we got him. Uh, oh my god, I barely made that. Ooh, we leveled up. <laughs> also, if you're curious why our character sounds so freaking quiet, uh, <laughs> I had to turn the sound effects volume, this is out of a possible 100, down to 20, and that just controls the voice in addition to this sound effect, which is already, like, kind of loud. <laughs> Same goes for music. The music was like insanely loud when we loaded into the first level. I actually don't remember where the other Dark Soul was in this area, but I'm sure we'll find it. There's really not that many places in here, so... Wait, that's where I came in. It's probably in this door. But then it wasn't. We lost a bunch of health. The end. Hmm. So, just like this game, there's another game that I excluded from my N64 list for the upcoming marathon I'm doing. Uh, mainly just because it has a remaster that seems like way better to play than the N64 version of it. Uh, and that would be Turok, which I've, I've never played a Turok game in my life. 
But I might play the ones that didn't get like a PC port. Or at least a remastered port. I don't know. I'm still thinking about the list, even though I've kind of finalized it. <laughs> Someone mentioned 40 Winks the other day, and I'm like, oh yeah, I meant to put that on my list, and I just didn't. Oh, we're already full up on mana. You know, I keep saying mana, and I'm sure that's not the right term, but it doesn't actually ever tell you what the hell that's called. <laughs> I guess magic. They use the word magic a lot when it comes to the weapons powered by that stuff. Uh, I don't know if I just missed a Dark Soul up there, but I don't think anything was over there. Could be in here somewhere. It, actually, more likely it could be in the other area. that like lava section that I can't walk on currently because I don't have the lava power up. Oh, they chased me over here. Hey guys. Well, this area is small. Even if they do kill me, it's not really a big deal. Okay, so we still have Jack the Ripper. That makes sense since he's in the opening cutscene. Can I just go into his realm, or do I need to go get the retractors? I think, pacing-wise, it would make sense if they still had the retractors, and I'm looking at his body and I'm seeing it's not open here. Yeah, we need a retractor. Dang it. Well, no dice there. Uh, I guess let's go see what level 3 looks like. Ow. Jerk. Shooting me. If I can figure out what button to press here. There we go. <laughs> Uh, take me to level select, please. Mm. It's not much of a tangent, but back on the topic of Resident Evil, I am pretty excited for whatever the hell they're about to do with the uh, DLC for uh, Resident Evil Village. I know we've heard, like, literally nothing about it other than, hey, we're doing DLC for Village. <laughs> but that's a fun-ass game. Completely unrelated to what we're playing right now. <laughs> can't think of a single similarity, as a matter of fact, but... It's still fun. There's literally no reason for grabbing this, because you don't get to use this till like, really late game. <laughs> oh good, I've unequipped both of my arms. Thanks. Oh! Hi guys! <laughs> I sub you to wait for me out there. Their AI can't get in here. <laughs> That's why they're waiting out there. They can't shoot me in here, though. I feel like that's actually a pretty good filler in a game, like, if you can't get your target to reach... Uh, like the place you want it to shoot. Or like you can't get like AI to be 100% reliable, you can always fall back on having them have a projectile when they get stuck. It's kind of like 101 shit, I guess, but whatever. <laughs> Down we go. Whoa, that was... <laughs> that was something. Where's the tunnel? Oh god. Oh, it's up here. Right. I forgot. Man, these textures. <laughs> like, I mean, polygon count-wise, it's pretty, like, comparable to the remaster, but... Damn, they really touched him up. Spoken of in whispers oh, it's this level. Margins. Well, I guess we'll go see what these uh, enemies look like. Lurking. Lurking. He also gives a little like bit of poetry every time you go into a level for the first time, but I've ruined that by skipping it. <laughs> Man, this level cost me so much extra time. <laughs> my first playthrough. Well, my first playthrough. We literally just finished the first playthrough tonight. But accurate though. 
<laughs> uh, I got the power up so that they'll, they'll let you uh, climb on fire or touch fire, but I missed the thing where you go back and get the thing that lets you climb up stuff. And then we were just like hard stuck trying to find enough souls to get past like the next door to get into the next level that had the item to go even further. To go even further beyond. Uh... Sorry, no, this is like zero people know what the fuck I'm even talking about right now. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Very statuey. But not for long. This level's kind of huge in a way. No, <laughs> my hops. Wait. Well, that's useless. Why do I go up over here? It's not, there's nothing this way. Even in like the worst possible control scenario, like what we're playing right now. Still pretty fun platforming. Press the goddamn button, Michael. There we go. <laughs> the sister's awake. The sister's awake. I was hoping that'd be health. Oh, they they woke very fast. Holy crap! <laughs> Okay, they're not too bad to fight. I don't think there's a retractor in this level. Damn. I would have really liked to see what the uh, serial killer area was like, because that's like... Kind of my only question, like, did that get changed a lot? Or It seems like there's only three of them instead of five. But I think that goes back to the scrap content that they restored in the remaster. Oh, that's not the exit. Ooh. I wonder if that shitty song that, like, his metal scraping against metal was something they restored from the old <laughs> version. <laughs> Seems highly likely, honestly. Oh, you're still alive. Ow. My face. Man, I bet the the more badass versions of those things are going to be a huge pain to fight. Damn it. Because their attacks home in on you, and they also bounce off walls too. It's like maximum annoying. Oh wait, there's things to bomb in here. Huh. I wonder if those are there in the remaster <clears throat> remastered version. I am missing like a couple of Kado from... From uh, this level in that version, could do whatever. <laughs> Wait, no, it's it's not could It's like maybe it is could I don't know. French word for gift. <laughs> I'm just gonna run away from these sisters, or I'll just get stunned. Trying to walk out of here. It's also a possibility. Ow, 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 ow. Honestly, it seems like that's the right call in most situations. I think they fixed their AI in the other version, <laughs> and you can, like, they'll, they'll actually follow you pretty far into the map, but this one, I think they get kind of stuck on stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll finish uh, what we can out of this area before I wrap up for the night, I think. Which shouldn't take too much longer, honestly. Especially if I ignore these hearts. Although, not especially if I fall off of this thing. <laughs> Just a pretty real threat. And a promise. And I can't see down there. Uh, what's my first person button again? Control? No. 
F? Yeah, it's F. <laughs> so this is where we want to fall. No! He went too far. He went too far this time, Michael. Dude, you can't jump. I can't climb on, like, the corner of this thing for some reason. <laughs> oh, I think it's because the altar is, like, got that, like, slanted shape at the side. It needs, like, a solid rectangle of space to climb properly. Yep, this does remind me. I've also never played a Tomb Raider game, except for, like, the, the first of the reboot games, which I only played a little bit of it, so I don't know if I'd even count that. <laughs> I wasn't a huge fan, but I know those are super different from the old ones. His sister's awake. Oop, wrong button. I'm trying to roll. Oh yeah, I forgot to look up what the speedrun for this game is like. Or not what it's like, like path-wise or anything, but like what the times are. I guess we'll close stream out with that. Ah, here we are. Okay, so that room I believe has Dark Soul we can get right now. So we're gonna get that. Damn it. It is kind of funny, the pacing of this game. Like, sometimes you'll go into an area and get, like, six Dark Souls in, like, one second. Other levels, you'll have to, like, play for, like, an hour to get, like, one. <laughs> That's not where the button is. Ow. Uh, hopefully I can heal over here. Yes. Uh, we're not fully healed, though. Well, tough luck. We're just gonna need to deal with it, I guess. Just one more of those, and then we can enter the te Temple of Fire. The sister's awake. I think some of them spawn up there too, so this is gonna be a little dicey. They also do that, which is not great. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, it's like I think there's a couple frames that they can snipe me and knock me off the ledge because I, I remember. In, the remastered, I got knocked down one time in here. I assume it works exactly the same since we have been knocked off. Yeah, these purple ones, I bet that's gonna be hell to fight her, so I'm just gonna run far, far away. That's not the exit, you fool! Oh, why did I do that? I'm so dumb! Get out of here! Oh god, yes. Cool, so now we just need to like go through the main edge. Oh, they got out. Oh no, they're free. That I wish that was health. I can't. Oh, can't begin to explain how much I wish that was health. This is the way I need to go. Yay, health! Ugh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the button is up here. <laughs> and we are out of here. Although, I guess I could technically die before I reach the top up there. We get a checkpoint if I get up there. So I'm trying to just brute force this a bit. Don't be a dick and hit me in the back while I'm climbing up this thing, please. Alright, good, they're slow. Go, man, go. Wait, what? Why is the fire in the way? <laughs> you know, part of me should have realized and not done that, but I see it now. There's a button at the edge. Or on the lower floor down there. Ooh. It's okay, it's okay. Just gotta go this way. I forget how many uh, souls I need for the door over here. It there's no way it's the same number of souls as it is to enter the level, though, so I don't need to concern myself with it just yet. God, there's a lot of these guys. I feel like there's more enemies on this version, and also, my god, these eels do so much damage. Eels, whatever they are. I don't know. 
Wait, I can just go through here, I think. Which would be awesome, since there's like a million of these, like, uh... Vampire ladies running around. Press it. <laughs> the trigger on that button is so bad in this version for some reason. It's like unless you're facing head on, he will not press it. The sister is awake. Uh oh, they're shooting. Go, Michael, go. The good thing is, even if they do hit me, I'll only just get knocked down to like whatever level I'm at. I won't like fall off a bunch of stuff. Oh, Dark Soul. There's our checkpoint. Oh, this part's gonna be hell too, I think. <laughs> oh boy. You know what, chat? I think I've made up my mind. I think I am gonna play Turok tomorrow and Tuesday. And I hope that's enough time to finish Turok. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. Pretty, pretty decent at the boomer FPS's, so I have faith in myself. Now that I say that, I'm gonna get fucking rocked. <laughs> oh god, no! <laughs> well, we did indeed get rocked right there, but not what I meant. Why does it face you backwards? I did that same gripe in the remastered. You know, it's kind of funny. You really wouldn't be able to tell that someone was playing the remastered versus this until <laughs> until you saw their gameplay and realized how stiff they were moving. What the fuck? Get up there. This isn't even the part that I was thinking of when I said this is going to be hell, for the record. <laughs> I thought there was no platform there. I made that a lot scarier than it needed to be. Okay, we got a weapon in hand. We'll just make the best of it. This is the room that I was referring to. Uh, okay, so I can just jump forward. It's not just the fact that there's lava everywhere and platforms that fall down if you don't, uh, if you stay on them too long. It's also the fact that you keep summoning vampire ladies. Every time you do one of these. Oh yeah, and she's not even- she's the even more badass version beyond the purple one that we were running away from earlier, like a scared little baby. Ooh. You know, I'm ashamed to admit how long it took my brain to process this thought. Why was that one guy called the Lizard King? <laughs> he was not a lizard. He might have been a king. But he most definitively was not a lizard. He was a human being. Although, I guess Michael referred to him as not a human being. But he didn't, like, turn into a lizard or anything. <laughs> I thought I think that was more so in reference of him being part of the Legion than anything. <laughs> I don't even think I'm hitting her at this point. There we go, we got her. Alright, we got her. One down. I forget how many are in here. Maybe they'll be merciful on me and there's not too many in this section. They're in this version. Gotta remember to go over there after we get all the... or get the power up. Any sisters? No, actually. <laughs> oh god. These jumps are pretty gnarly too, honestly. <laughs> Even in the remastered version, it was, I was having trouble getting them lined up properly. Or, like, jumping at the right time. One more. Which is... somewhere. <laughs> Where's the last one? Oh, I haven't been over there. Yeah. So trolly too, because if you take a full length jump there, you'll go too far and like land between the two platforms. <laughs> oh shit, we might actually only have had to fought that one lady. Well then. Thank god for that. Hope I can make this. Okay, I can. <laughs> no. 
Okay. And like I said, let's not forget to go over here. As there are goodies for us over here. Now that we can push this thing. Though I don't remember what exactly was over here, but... Oh boy. Them sisters do be awakening, though. She gonna awake? Oh, she is. Oh god, this is the worst place to be with one of these because she just will ricochet this off of everything even if I try to dodge. All right, Sp spam the voodoo weapons. I think that is the lesson here. And you'll be fine. The unfortunate thing is, if you finish an enemy off with the voodoo weapon, you don't get health. Dear God. <laughs> My health. Another right. one down. The strat did not pay off there, but you know what? We're learning. We're learning in this game that we've already completed. And are now just playing a different version of. <laughs> Just about done here. Oh wait, I forgot to get the thing. <laughs> Did not come in there to just fight those ladies. There's actually a thing out here. Oh god. You know, for as much as I've like missed grabs every now and then, like the platforming is quite merciful. Like if you're even like remotely near a ledge, it'll grab onto it as long as your hand's free. And that's pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> this is a really cool effect, the little smoke thing it does when you grab onto something. It does similar things when you're like swimming in lava with the future power-ups or stuff like that. I don't know why I came back down here. Really, I should just be beelining it for the other power-up, because it's more or less all I plan to do before I uh, shut down the stream here, but I guess we'll get this one Dark Soul then. <laughs> Since we're here. Fuck it. <clears throat> Hope I know which door to go through. Oh god, we have to go through this room too? Well, that's no good. Because now the sisters are going to awake, and it's going to be a whole thing. Wait, what? I need a rope, too. Or do I? Maybe I, maybe I can just reach that, I don't know. thought I needed a rope, though. Yeah, I totally need a rope. Oh, there it is. as long as the sisters don't awake. I guess they didn't. It's been a while since we've been in this room in the other game, so I completely forgot what the layout of this was like. I really hope this takes me just to the room I'm thinking of with all the boxes, because if it doesn't, this could get a little bit long. I don't know if it's better to jump this way or like. Eh, they clearly want me to go over here, so. Do it that way. Yay! Okay, good, good, good. And it's either this one or the other one that's behind me. I think it's this one. 
Don't kill me, don't kill me. Yes, it's this one. Ow. Hope she can't chase me through here. I think she mainly just fights over in the other area, so we should be okay. By the way, I got my Dark Soul. Don't care. Uh, ow. Ow. You know what? Rolling would have been wise there. Uh, ow. Dodge the hammer, but we still got smacked. So I believe all I need to do here is just climb to the top and then push that one flaming rock. But I know that there's at least one of those vampire ladies in there. I keep saying vampire ladies. I think they're intended to be because it, it made some reference to something vampiric. Oh, hi. Ow. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Ow. That's not as good. No, fuck you, I'm gonna pile up here instantly. Jerk. This is not the route I need to go down. Damn it. <laughs> Wrong doorway. Oh yeah, the waterfalls are like less, uh, they're slightly transparent like they are in the remake. Remaster. Thingy. That was something I was complaining about, or well, I was giving kudos to the N64 version because I'm like, oh, it's cool because this like, stands out more and like it's something you'd remember better, I think. Did I pass it? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> we need a level 4 thing to get those. Well, I guess that's where our playthrough ends. Okay, well, this is anticlimactic. Sorry, I forgot about that gate. Anyway. That's the old PC version of this game. It's not terrible, but, you know, they did a good job with the remaster, that's all. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's going to be it for me for tonight.